The bell sounded, and Durand me landed uh, a punch each time, only warned the second time, and to the dismay of Daniel Cormier and Joe Rogan, uh, they were freaking out. They felt a, a point should be taken. Uh, What's your assessment of what happened over 25 minutes in the main event? Well, when you put those two things together, it becomes stinkier. You yeah. know, where you you feel a little more uh, it, that it was unreasonable uh, for if you're Holly or if you're a fan. Well, Holly Holmes said that uh, the most significant strikes landed in the fight were those illegal yes. fights, uh, Ill- illegal punches. I, and I think they were. There's a lot at play there. Uh, we were talking about it at the desk today. You can. You Somebody says your assignment is to fight this person uh, and you're going to have ways, strategies that you plan in the long run. Things are going to change closer and then on the night you're going to have moments that you try to apply a certain attitude or strategy or tactics. And uh, one of those can be, I'm going to cheat a little bit. It is an absolutely valid choice. Now we'll judge it. You and know. when you say cheat, what does that actually mean? Because there was no infraction. Yeah. yeah. Nobody well, there was, no, but there was no penalty mm-hmm. taken. Yeah, yeah. So when you look at these things, the, the groin shots, the mm-hmm. cage grabs, the all the different like, spitting out mouth guards, yep. all these things are in play. But if you do them, how is it cheating? Exactly. Uh, it is cheating because we know we're not supposed to do it, but we get away with it. So we can apply that as a strategy if you choose to. But cheating, if I take steroids and I'm caught, that's cheating. It's a no contest or I lose. Yeah. That's, yeah. but. But if I punch you in the face as hard as I can after the bell on purpose, I don't that's want... cheating and I didn't get penalized for it. So that's why it can be applied as a strategy. If we're going to talk about right or wrong or class or sportsmanship or honor or any of those things, we bring those in. We immediately judge that poor. And we're like, I can't believe she fucking. The bell. It's martial arts. It's supposed yeah. to be, there's yeah. supposed to be a level yes. of honor. Yes. That we want that. We want that. But we are not the ones in the cage. Yeah. We're not the ones in there. She is. And of the choices that she can make, I'm falling down. Jacques Array is dragging me to the ground. I'm going to grab the fence. <laughs> I'm grabbing the fence. I'm grab the fence. I'm right? grabbing the fence. So she's, whether it was in the moment, a choice or a choice not to pull back or it was she's like I'm gonna go in there I'm gonna be ornery and that could be you can imagine sitting around with coaches and go what do we need to do we need to bully this girl we need to bully her we need to be gritty we need her to know she's in a fight these can be purposeful strategies now uh, we judge it I don't uh, myself as a fan and somebody well I prefer the class of a martial artist but this thing here we have all the options of all of the ways that we want to apply this thing and that, includes, that shows you how to win shows you how to win and that includes she can do that now knowing that your opponent may employ some of these tactics it is now on you to deal to prepare for them and deal with them so after the bell especially that second time uh, protect yourself at all time 